what is going on everybody on youtube today i will be giving you guys a complete guide of 2022 air jordan release dates so in this video i'll be basically giving you guys a rundown of all the release dates from march 2022 to december 2022 this video is pretty lengthy and informative so make sure you pay close attention to the information given in this video and in my opinion, Jordan Brand is going pretty crazy this year with the releases. There's a lot of OG colorways coming back. There's a lot of new colorways coming. There's a lot of collabs that are coming. Please be sure to drop a like on this video. So with all of that said, let's get right into the video. All right, now let's begin with March 2022 Air Jordan release dates. First up, we have the Air Jordan 1 High OG Rebellion Air. These released on March 12th at select neighborhood accounts in the US and at different retailers overseas. So these have a special box and packaging as you can see the band logo is on the box and just like how the shoes are it says they cannot stop you from wearing them. The paper on the inside is from Michael Jordan's band commercial. This is definitely a crazy shoe as you can see the upper is consisted of that writing. Two red X's are on the heel and these basically have that shadow Air Jordan 1 color blocking. The gray is definitely a different shade. As you all know, these will not be releasing on the sneakers app in the US. Also, this will be a men's only release. These will also drop again on March 19th at select retailers and retail is 170. Up next for the month of March, we have the Air Jordan 13 Del Sol. This is coming in a basic white, yellow and black color blocking. Jordan brand using that same color blocking from the Cherry Air Jordan 13s. They also have a hint of red on the tongue on the Jumpman. Definitely a nice colorway for the Air Jordan 13. As of recently, Jordan 13s have been getting more love. And pretty much like I said in every YouTube video, Jordan brand will basically be going around the color wheel for the Air Jordan 13s and the white and black color blocking. Here's a look at the outsole. So these are set to drop March 19th in full family sizing and men's sizing will retail at $200. Next on the list we have the Air Jordan 4 SE Zen Master. Now these were also set to drop March 19th, but as of right now I don't have any release info on these. Haven't really seen anybody with early pairs. I don't know of any stores that got these in yet. A lot of stores were telling me that their orders were cancelled for these. So I'm not really sure what's happening with this release. More than likely these will still drop but at a later date. But as you can see here pictured on the screen, these have a canvas upper with an ongoing tie-dye print, translucent detailing throughout the shoe. These will be coming with a special box and packaging. I believe these are only releasing in men's sizing and will retail for 210. The colorway for these is Amethyst Wave, Bright Crimson, Black, and Cement Gray. Stay tuned for an update on these. More for March, we have a grade school exclusive Air Jordan 6 Low. This is the Air Jordan 6 Low White Atmosphere Infrared 23 in black. Originally, these were set to drop in January, then they pushed them back to February, then they pushed them back to March. So now the current release date for this grade school exclusive Air Jordan 6 Low is March 22nd, and these will retail for 125. Next up, we have a Women's Air Jordan 2 Low SE don't have a mock-up or a visual for these, but the colorway is white, malachite, neutral gray, and sale. These are currently set to drop on March 24th, which is probably going to change because we haven't seen anything on these just yet. But all I do know is that it will be a women's exclusive Air Jordan 2 Low. And because it's an SE, you can expect some sort of graphic or crazy material on these. Next up for March, we have the Rui Hachimura Air Jordan 8 SE. Now originally these were set to drop in December, then they got pushed back to All-Star Weekend, then they got pushed back to March 24th, and as of right now they don't have a current set date. This is definitely a cool colorway for the Air Jordan 8. Over the past couple of years I noticed that Jordan brand hasn't really been dropping that many Jordan 8s. This is definitely one of the most detailed Air Jordan 8s we've gotten in a while. As you can see there's details behind the tongue, they have special insoles, a special box and packaging. Colorway for these is Twine, Gym Red, Black, and Sesame. So again, these currently don't have a set release date, but when they do, they will retail at $225. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 3 Canvas or Muslin. These were expected to drop on March 26th, 
but then they got moved up a day to March 25th. Now this shoe has been compared to the Ama Manier Air Jordan 3 a lot. The colorway for these is Muslin, University Red, Cement Gray, and Sale. And these are expected to release in men's sizing for $210 on March 25th. Up next we have another canvas Air Jordan. This is the Women's Air Jordan 4 Blank Canvas. The colorway for these is Sale, Sale, Cement Gray, and Fire Red. And these originally were scheduled to drop in February, then they got pushed back to March. The new date was supposed to be March 24th, but you can expect these to be pushed back once again. These currently do not have a new release date. This shoe consists of a canvas upper with paint splatter detailing on the outsole. But as of right now, these do not have a set in stone release date, but I do know that these will retail at $200 exclusively in women's sizing. All right, now on to April 2022. First up, we have the Air Jordan 1 High 85 in the Georgetown colorway. The colorway for these is College Navy, Summit White, and Tech Gray. These are currently set to drop April 2nd for a retail price of 200. Now, originally these were supposed to drop around All-Star Weekend in February, but then they got pushed back. And now they have a current release date for April 2nd. Definitely a nicer colorway for the High 85s. They will come with extra laces and will be available in extended men's sizing. All right, now here we have an Air Jordan 5. This is the Air Jordan 5 Jade Horizon. Originally, these were set to drop in December. Then they got pushed back to February. Then they got pushed back to March. And then they got pushed back again to April 9th. It's definitely been pretty hectic. A lot of shoes have been getting pushed back consistently. And this is definitely one of those shoes. The colorway for these is Jade Horizon, Light Silver, Anthracite, and Desert Sand. And you can look for these to drop on April 9th in men's and gray school sizing. All right, so this is another one of them shoes. This is the Women's Air Jordan 1 High OG, Nostalgia. These were originally set to drop early February, I believe. Now they've been pushed back to April 2022 with no set date. And since they currently don't have a set date for April, I can imagine these will get pushed back again. Some information was floating around from my guys. They said that these will possibly be pushed back to July, which is pretty much expected at this point. The colorway for these is light iron ore, varsity red, and sale. And again, these will be dropping in extended sizing in women's. They'll also be dropping in toddler sizes and preschool sizes. Retail price for the women's will be 170. And I do believe these will be coming with extra laces. These have a chenille swoosh and a corduroy tongue with basic Chicago color blocking. Definitely a nice colorway for the women. So again, to answer all your questions, these will be dropping in extended women's sizing. And also stay tuned for the new release date. Another shoe along that list is the Air Jordan 9 Particle Gray. These currently were set for April 2022, but don't have a current set date. Now these were expected to drop in January, then they got pushed back to April. But then again, there have been a lot of date changes and pushbacks. The colorway for these is black, university red, particle gray, and white. This shoe features a quilted stitch textile upper with a nubuck mud guard and a matte finish on the midsole. These currently don't have a set in stone release date, but they will be releasing in men's and gray school sizing. Stay tuned for more info on these. Next on the list is a shoe that a lot of people have been waiting on. This is the Air Jordan 2 SP Union Collab. Now as you can see on the tab on the shoe it says H021 which implies that these were actually supposed to drop holiday 2021 but again with a lot of release dates not being set in stone these are now currently set to drop April 15th for 225 The colorway picture here on the screen is gray fog, siren red, and light smoke gray and this is one of the two colorways that Union has on the way. The second colorway picture here on the screen is rattan, siren red, beach, and an orange peel. I could definitely see this colorway here being the Union exclusive colorway. You're going to see this year that Jordan Brand is going to do their best to push the Air Jordan 2s out and to make sure the people that don't like Air Jordan 2s start to love them. So again, these are expected to drop April 15th for a retail price of $225. Another one for April, we have the Air Jordan 7 SE Shimmer. The colorway for these is Shimmer, Black, and Sapphire. 
These are currently set to drop April 16th in men's sizing for a retail price of $210, and you can expect this shoe to be more so on the limited side. Towards the end of April, we have the women's Air Jordan 11 Low in white, Fear Violet in white. These have a current release date for April 28th and will retail for $190. Definitely a clean colorway for the Jordan 11 Lows. It's a basic white mesh upper with pure violet on the patent leather. Next up for collabs, we have the Ama Manier Air Jordan 2 SP. The colorway for these is Sail Black and Burgundy Crush. And these are currently set to drop April 29th in men's sizing. These will be coming with a special hang tag, a special box and packaging, extra laces, and just have tons and tons of details on them. Definitely a cool colorway for the Air Jordan 2s. You can tell that the details are kind of similar to the Air Jordan 1s. They have that same cracked leather material. So again, you can expect these to drop on April 29th. Next up is an Air Jordan 13 in navy, university blue, black and white. These were originally set to drop early April, but then got pushed back to April 30th. These have a reflective mesh upper and will be dropping in full family sizing. So again, this navy Air Jordan 13 is expected to drop April 30th in full family sizing. More collabs on the way. This is the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low OG SP. The nickname these are going by is the Reverse Mocha. The colorway for these is Sail University Red and Ridge Rock. I was told to expect these to drop sometime between the spring and the summer. We all know that Travis Scott had that incident last year. So therefore Nike put all of his releases on hold. So yeah, these currently don't have a set release date. So stay tuned for that and retail is looking to be 150. Another tease collab we saw last year is the J Balvin Air Jordan 2 SP. I still currently don't have much info on these. And we also don't really have good photos of these either. As you can see on this collab, Jordan brand is incorporating LED lights into the Air Jordan 2s. And I heard that these will have a higher retail than usual, so maybe around $350. So definitely stay tuned for more information on these. All right, now let's move into May 2022 Air Jordan releases. Now first up, we have the Air Jordan 9 Chili Red. These were originally set to drop in November. Then they got pushed back to February. Then they got pushed back again and again. So now these have a current set date for May 7th and will be dropping in men's and gray school sizing. The colorway for these is chili red and black and they will be retailing at $200 for men's sizing. Up next is the Air Jordan 6 in white and midnight navy. Now this shoe originally came out in 2000 and is finally making a return 22 years later. Originally these were expected to drop last year around Black Friday but then kept getting pushed back and pushed back. These now have a release date for May 11th and they will be dropping in full family sizing. Another shoe for May, we have the Air Jordan 1 Mid. It's your classic bread colorway, but with the words spelling out the colors throughout the shoe. As you can see on the red parts of the shoe, it has red in text. And on the black parts of the shoe, it has black in text. To finish off the shoe, it has black plus red equals bread on the midsole. These are expected to drop on May 11th in kids sizing. Next is an Air Jordan 11 Low. This is the 72 and 10 colorway. These were originally set to drop on April 23rd, but now are releasing on May 14th. The colorway for these is black, gym red, white, and sail. I'm not too sure if these will drop in full family sizing. But yeah, this is basically the low top version of the 72 and 10 Air Jordan 11s. I was told to expect 72 and 10 storytelling special packaging, but I mean Jordan brand is going to be Jordan brand, so they could change up the box last minute and just give us a regular box. In my opinion, this is a cool colorway for the Air Jordan 11 lows. They will be coming with a leather upper instead of a suede. But yeah, look for these to drop on May 14th and men's sizing will retail for 190. More for May, we have the Women's Air Jordan 3 Neapolitan. The colorway for these is white, dark mocha, atmosphere, and sail. Retail price for these will be $200. So picture here on the screen is a retail pair. They will be coming with that white leather upper with mocha elephant print hits, a sail midsole with a hint of atmosphere on the midsole and Jumpman as well. So again, these are currently set to drop on May 15th, but the release date could possibly change in the future. More for May, we have the Air Jordan 6 GS Earth Day. And a lot of you guys will be asking me, why is an Earth Day shoe dropping in May? 
A lot of the sneakers that Jordan Brand had set for a specific holiday this year have been pushed back. But the colorway is white, Dutch blue, citron tint, and black. These are set to drop May 15th for a retail price of $150, and this shoe will be a kids exclusive colorway. Another collab we have on the way is the Clot Air Jordan 5 Low SP. So I believe these were expected to drop in December, then got pushed back to February, and then got pushed back again to May. So the current set release date for this Clot 5 Low is May 20th. The colorway for these is black, classic jade, fire red, and metallic silver. If you're unaware of the retail price as of now, definitely a cool colorway for the Air Jordan 5 Lows. I like the special box that they're coming with. Lots of cool details included on this shoe. And again, you can expect these to drop on May 20th, 2022. Okay, so there's a bunch of Air Jordan 12 Low Golf colorways on the way. I know what they're gonna look like, but I didn't do any mock-ups for them. The first one is the Air Jordan 12 Low Golf NRG P22. The colorway for these is white, black, and game royal. This one currently has a release date for May 20th and will retail for $220. Next is an Air Jordan 12 Low Golf NRG M22. The colorway for these is white, white, metallic gold, and malachite. Another one is the Air Jordan 12 Low Golf NRG U22. The colorway for these is sail, black, dark driftwood, and rattan. And lastly, this is the Air Jordan 12 Low Golf, white, French blue, metallic silver, and varsity red. Those will most likely look like the French blue 12s but as a low top golf edition. Another one for May is the Air Jordan 4 Military Black. These currently have a date for May 21st, but are possibly being pushed back to June 25th. The colorway for these is white, black, neutral gray. Each time I posted these on Instagram, this seems to be a very anticipated Air Jordan 4 colorway. These are pretty much the military blue fours, but instead of blue, it's black. And these are expected to drop in full family sizing with men's retailing at $200. Closer to the end of May, we have the Air Jordan 1 High OG Heritage. The colorway for this one is white, university red and black. These currently have a release date for May 25th. I know they were expected to release early April. But like I said, there will be a lot of date shifts throughout the year. This colorway draws inspiration from one of the older Air Jordan 1 samples but instead of blue, it's red. So again, you can expect these to drop on May 25th in men's and grade school sizing. All right, another one towards the end of May is the Air Jordan 5 SE Easter. And again, you may ask, why is an Easter shoe dropping in May? This is another one of those shoes that were expected to drop on a certain holiday and got pushed back. The current release date for these is May 27th. The colorway for these is Regal Pink, Ghost, and Copa. I do know men's sizing will retail at 210, and these do have a glow in the dark outsole. Also, as you can see picture here on the screen, they do have special insoles, and are also expected to come in a special box and packaging. The current last one for May is the Air Jordan 5 Green Bean. Picture here on the screen is the 2022 version. The colorway for these is Silver, Green Bean, and Flint Gray. People are saying that the color is off on them. And in my opinion, I think it might be the lighting. This shoe does come dressed in that 3M material on the upper and it also has an icy finish. This is also a shoe that possibly will be pushed back to June, but as time progresses, I'll keep you guys updated on these. Also, these will be dropping in full family sizing. So up next are the June 2022 Air Jordan release dates. First up, we have the Air Jordan 2 Low SP. And usually when they use the SP tagline, it's in collaboration with somebody. I'm not 100% sure who it's with. But definitely this year, Jordan Brand will be pushing out a bunch more Air Jordan 2 colorways. This colorway is definitely interesting, especially the midsole being suede. The official colorway for these is black, anthracite, smoke gray, and muslin. These appear to have a black nubuck upper with gray elephant print detailing. The tab on the upper shows an arrow. And behind that tab, it says Pa que sepa, which is Spanish for the phrase, so that you know. This Air Jordan 2 low colorway definitely has a lot of details on them. Even on the outsoles, one outsole has red accents and the other one has blue accents. At this time, these don't have a set release date, but they do have a placeholder date for June 1st. And since these are SP release, you can expect the raised retail price from the regular Air Jordan 2 lows. 
Next for June we have the Air Jordan 4 Infrared. Originally these were set to drop in February, then they got pushed back to May, and now these are currently expected to drop in June. The current date for these is June 24th, but again this date could change in the future. The colorway for these is Dark Gray Infrared 23 Black and Cement Gray. You can also expect these to drop in full family sizing, and men's will retail for $200. More for June, quickly because I don't really have much of a description for these. This is the grade school exclusive Air Jordan 12 White University Blue and Lemon Venom. These currently have a placeholder date for June 1st and will retail at $150. Another upcoming collab we have the Air Jordan Delta 2 Clot. This is another shoe that has that SP tagline. The current release date for these is June 2nd. And the colorway for these is white, university blue, navy, and iron gray. As you can see, these drastically take inspiration from the Flint 13s. These do have a reflective mesh upper and a lot of similar details and accents from the Flint 13s. Definitely an interesting collab from Clot. And again, these are set to drop on June 2nd in men's sizing. Moving right along, we have the Air Jordan 6 Red Oreo. The colorway for these is white, university red, and black. These are currently expected to drop on June 4th. I do believe these will be dropping in men's and grade school. I'm not sure if it's full family sizing, but originally when I was told about these, I was basically told to expect a red Oreo Jordan 6. Definitely is a clean Air Jordan 6 colorway. I would have liked them a little bit more if they put that red speckled detailing on the tongue as well. But again, look out for these to drop on June 4th for retail price of $200. More Air Jordan 1s are on the way. This is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Visionaire. This is definitely a loud colorway for the Air Jordan 1s. The colorway for this is Vault, Sail, and Black. As you can see, these have a cracked leather material going throughout the shoes. These are coming in that basic Chicago color blocking. The laces seem to have some sort of fade look to them. The material used on the collar gives these more of a crackled look. But overall, you can expect these to drop on June 11th in men's and grade school sizing with men's retailing at 170 and gray school retailing at 130. Next up we have an Air Jordan 1 Low OG. The nickname these are going by is Stage Haze. The colorway for these is black, bleached coral, and white. And these are currently set to drop on June 17th. I believe these will be dropping in men's and gray school sizing with men's retailing at 130. These will have a bleached coral heel and toe. So again, these are expected to drop on June 17th with men's pairs retailing at 130. More Jordan 3s are on the way. This is the Air Jordan 3 Dark Iris. The colorway for these is white, black, dark iris, and cement gray. These are currently set to drop on June 18th. The picture here on the screen is a mock-up. This is an accurate visual of what we will be getting. The elephant print on the retail pair might be a little bit lighter than this, but overall the color blocking is accurate. So again, these are expected to drop on June 18th in full family sizing, with men's retailing at $200. Also expect these to come in a special box and packaging. More collabs on the way, we have an Air Jordan 2 SP Maison Chateau Rouge. These are now currently expected to release on June 24th. This shoe definitely has a lot of details on them. As you can see, they're coming with three sets of extra laces. Special graphics on each of the insoles. These graphics on the insoles also feature Michael Jordan. And this shoe just definitely has tons and tons of different details on them. Now a lot of people who don't like Jordan 2s will definitely be going after these. Now so far I'm hearing that these will be limited. I'm not really sure how they're going to go about releasing these. They also don't have a confirmed retail price, but I could guess that these will be going probably for $225 or $250. Stay tuned for more information on these. And again, these are set to drop on June 24th. Next on the list, we have one of the biggest disappointments of the year. This is the Air Jordan 3 Desert Elephant. So a couple videos ago, I did talk about these. My mock-up did look a bit different, but I also did mention that these will be coming with a natural finish on the elephant print. But at that time, I wasn't 100% sure of how to visualize that. So I made sure to include that in the description while describing these. So when Jordan Brand said natural finish on the elephant print, this is what they meant. In my opinion, this small detail definitely kind of throws the entire shoe off. This colorway is definitely somewhat inspired by the Black Cement 3s. As you can see, these are coming with special insoles. The colorway for these is Black, Rush Orange, Fossil Stone, and Sail. Currently expected to release on June 25th. 
and men's and grade school sizing. They will also come in a special box and packaging and men's sizes will retail at 200. More for June, we have the Air Jordan 1 High OG Stage Haze. Colorway for these is white, black, gray fog, and bleached coral. Originally, these were expected to release in May, but now are getting pushed back to June. These are releasing in men's and grade school sizing. These should be coming with extra laces, but as of right now, these do not have a concrete release date, so definitely stay tuned for these as time goes on. Okay, so here's one of those pop-up releases. This is the Air Jordan 12 Low GC. Colorway for these is white, onyx, and metallic silver. GC usually stands for Greater China, so I'm not sure if these will be exclusive to China. I didn't do a mock-up for these, that's why you see a blacked out image with a question mark. So in all, you can expect these to drop in June, most likely in men's sizing. Moving right into July 2022 releases. As an introduction to July, we have the Air Jordan 7 Citrus making a return. These are currently expected to release on July 2nd in full family sizing. The colorway for these is Black, Citrus, and Varsity Red. These will basically be just like the previous release. The upper consists of a black nubuck with contrast stitching, citrus accents on the Jumpman and the midsole, varsity red hits throughout the shoe, just an overall clean look. Once again, look for these to drop on July 2nd in full family sizing with men's retailing at $200. Following those, we have another pop-up release. This is the Women's Air Jordan 2 SE Gym Red. I didn't do a mock-up for these. I don't really have any description for these yet. But like I said, Jordan Brand is definitely dropping a lot of Jordan 2s this year. And I believe this shoe will have a white base. But anyway, stay tuned for more info on these. On July 9th, we have the Air Jordan 14 Ginger. The colorway for these is light ginger, black, and white. Now my previous mock-up on these had red accents. So here's more of an updated mock-up. These are basically inspired by the Ginger 14 Lows. Jordan Brand is definitely taking inspiration from a lot of low top colorways and turning them into the mid or high versions basically all year long. I believe these are dropping in men's and grade school sizing. So again, expect these to drop on July 9th for retail price of $200 for men's. Every year Jordan Brand collaborates with PSG which stands for Paris Saint Germain. Picture here on the screen is just a grayed out image. I don't really have much description on this colorway as of now. I did not do a mock up for these, but the colorway is pumice, game royal, black, plum, eclipse, and bright crimson. With this being a PSG collab, you can expect them to drop some crazy materials or designs on these. This shoe is currently expected to release on July 16th for a retail price of $200. Next up is the Air Jordan 1 High OG in stealth and white. Picture here on the screen is an accurate visual of what we will be getting. These are currently expected to release on July 16th for a retail price of $170 for men's. These are also expected to release in grade school sizing for $130. And I believe the inspiration behind these is the black and white Air Jordan 1s. All they did was turn the black into gray. These are for sure a nice summer shoe. And again, expect these to drop on July 16th. Another Air Jordan 1 on the way, this is the Women's Air Jordan 1 High OG. The colorway for these is white, starfish, Keiko, wow, and sail. Picture here on the screen is a very close representation of what we will be getting. These are expected to release on July 21st. Again, these will be a women's exclusive. Retail price will be $170. For this theme, Jordan Brand is tying in the shattered backboard and the look of Birkin bags. As you can see on the collar, it has that woven detailing. The swoosh definitely has a different look on these. And the color blocking is very similar to the Shattered Backboard 2.0s. Not a bad looking colorway. And with that being said, let's move right along. Another one for July, we have the Air Jordan 5 Concord. The colorway for these is white, dark Concord, and black. These are currently set to drop on July 23rd for retail price of $200 for men's. These will also be available in full family sizing. Picture here on the screen is an accurate visual of what we'll be releasing. These are basically the fire red fives, but instead of red, it's Concord. And also this colorway is obviously inspired by the Concord 11s. This is definitely looking like a cop for me. Yet another simple colorway for the summer. Again, expect these to drop on July 23rd in full family sizing. We have another one on the way for July. This is the Air Jordan 1 Low OG in the UNC colorway. The exact colorway for these is white, dark powder blue, and black. 
These are currently expected to drop on July 29th. Again, expect this shoe to release in men's and grade school sizing. Men's sizing will retail at 130. These are basically coming in a UNC black toe color blocking. Me, I personally like the Air Jordan 1 lows. I noticed that Jordan brand made the swoosh a bit smaller to kind of represent how the dunks look. But anyway, expect these to drop on July 29th in men's and grade school sizing. Last on the current list for July, we have the Air Jordan 12 Stealth. Colorway is Stealth, White, and Cool Gray. These are currently expected to drop on July 30th in full family sizing. Men's sizing will retail at $200. Picture here on the screen is an accurate visual of what is releasing. We have a Stealth colored leather upper, a Cool Gray sock liner, and a white midsole and outsole. Another nice summer shoe. Jordan brand is definitely pushing the stealth color on summer releases this year. So once again, expect these to drop on July 30th in full family sizing with men's retailing at $200. Next are the summer 2022 releases with no release date. So here we have an Air Jordan 7 SP. These currently don't have a release date. As of right now, these are expected to drop sometime between May and August. These also seem to have that SP tagline, so that suggests that these will be a collab with somebody. As I get more info on these, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. Yet another Air Jordan 7, this is the Women's Air Jordan 7 SP. This is also a shoe that's possibly a collab. At this time, I don't know who the collab is with. I also do believe there is a Trophy Room Air Jordan 7 releasing later this year and it is expected to be Barcelona themed. All right, now let's move into August 2022, Air Jordan release dates. So first up, we have the Air Jordan 3 OG Fire Red. This shoe is expected to return with true OG specs, including that true OG elephant print color. This Air Jordan 3 is definitely one of the most anticipated releases of 2022. They will be returning with that Nike Air branding on the heel. They will be coming in that OG box and packaging. The colorway for these is white, fire red, cement gray, and black. I believe this was the last OG Air Jordan 3 to return with Nike Air. And Jordan Brand is definitely going all out on these. You can expect these to drop on August 6th in full family sizing with men's sizing retailing at 210. Up next, we have another very anticipated Air Jordan release. This is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Yellow Toe. The colorway for these is Taxi, Black, and Sale. And these are currently set to drop August 13th in men's and grade school sizing. Now this shoe has been rumored to drop for the past, I think four or five years. It would always be a rumor floating around with no concrete info. But now I'm happy to say that these are 100% confirmed to release. Picture here on the screen are a bunch of in-hand photos. A lot of people are saying that they're seeing orange instead of yellow, but the shade of the yellow is taxi. So in the future, I can see Jordan Brand calling these the Air Jordan 1 High OG Taxis. Again, this is one of the most anticipated Air Jordan releases of the year, and these are currently expected to drop on August 13th. Men's sizes will retail at 170. More Air Jordan 13s are on the way. This is the Air Jordan 13 French Blue. So the colorway for these is white, fire red, French blue, and light steel gray. These are expected to release on August 20th for retail price of $200. These are also expected to drop in full family sizing. The inspiration behind these is the French blue Air Jordan 12, the True Blue 3s, and the Gray Toe Air Jordan 13s. Definitely a nice and simple colorway. The picture here on the screen is an accurate visual of what we'll be releasing. And again, you can expect these to drop on August 20th in full family sizing. Another women's exclusive is on the way. This is the Women's Air Jordan 4 Canyon Purple. The colorway for these is Canyon Purple, Safety Orange, Alligator, and Black. These are currently set to drop on August 25th for a retail price of $200. So picture here on the screen is an accurate mock-up of what they will look like. The green will be a bit more vibrant. Expect purple suede on the upper with alligator cement hits throughout the shoe. Cool colorway for the women. This definitely reminds me of the Travis Scott Friends and Family Air Jordan 4s. I don't believe these will be dropping in extended sizing, but look for these to release on August 25th for a retail price of $200. Now 
Next is an Air Jordan 1 Low OG EX. I didn't do a mock up for these because these are kind of complicated looking. The colorway for these is black, fire red, and dark smoke gray. So basically, these consist of a suede upper with different shades of gray. These are currently expected to release on August 26th for a retail price of $130. And these will be releasing in men's sizing. Closing out August, we have the Air Jordan 4 SE Olive Canvas. The colorway for these is black, light steel gray, white, and fire red. Picture here on the screen is a close representation of what we will be getting. So what I was told, these will be coming with an olive canvas upper, a white midsole, a black outsole, light steel gray accents, and fire red laces. These are said to come with premium details. They will release in men's and gray school sizing on August 27th, with men's retailing at 210. Now we'll talk about the September 2022 Air Jordan release dates. Even more women's exclusive Air Jordan releases are on the way. First up, we have the women's Air Jordan Retro 12, black, hyper royal, metallic silver, and white. These currently have a release date for September 1st for a retail price of $200. Picture here on the screen is an accurate visual of what is releasing. It's a simple black leather upper with metallic silver hits, hyper royal on the mudguard, and a white outsole to finish it off. So once again, expect these to drop around September 1st for a retail price of $200, and these are women's exclusives. Next up is the Women's Air Jordan 1 High OG Denim. So originally these were expected to release in May or June, but now for some reason these are expected to be pushed back all the way to September. Now having that said, these still do not have a concrete date so anything could change in the near future. But the colorway for these is white, warm blue, and metallic gold. This shoe consists of a full leather and denim upper with a metallic gold dubre on the laces. Also the insoles are red with metallic gold. So again, these don't really have a set date as of right now. And I also believe that these are only dropping up to a women's 12, so therefore no extended sizing. Okay, so next is the Air Jordan 6 Georgetown. The colorway for these is Magnet and College Navy. Picture here on the screen is an accurate representation of what we'll be releasing. They will have a gray suede upper, but actually opposed to this mock-up, I was told that the suede would be closer to the Travis Scott 6s. So basically just like that suede, but gray. These are dropping in men's and gray school sizing. I believe these are coming in a special box and packaging. So look for these to drop on September 3rd with men's retailing at $200. Alright, so up next we have another women's exclusive Air Jordan release. This is the Women's Air Jordan 5 Low Expression. The colorway for these is coconut milk, black and white. I believe this shoe will have some sort of crazy graphic on the upper. I didn't do a mock-up for these, but I do know what they will look like. But anyway, these are expected to release on September 10th for a retail price of $180. Here we have yet another Air Jordan 1 release. This is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Heirloom. The colorway for this one is Vachetta Tan, Black, and Sail. These are currently set to drop on September 17th. And similar to the Rebellionaire Air Jordan 1s, these are also expected to release at neighborhood accounts only. These are coming with three extra stone wash laces. These will be coming with a special box and packaging. The materials on these will be veg tan leather and wax canvas. Picture here on the screen is an accurate visual of the color blocking. And again, you can expect these to drop on September 17th for a retail price of $170. Next up there is a new Air Jordan 11 Low IE releasing. The colorway for these is light oil wood brown, neutral gray, white, and cement. Picture here on the screen is a relatively close mock-up to what we'll be releasing. Definitely a different looking IE. These will have a plastic silver Jumpman on the tongue. These are currently expected to release on September 24th for a retail price of $185. Alright, so next is the Air Jordan 7 SE Afro Beats. The colorway for these is Vachetta Tan, Black, Taxi, and Dark Concord. This shoe doesn't have a set date as of right now, but will drop sometime in fall 2022. Retail price will be $210. There's definitely a lot going on with this colorway, from the screen printed design on the upper to the tongue and to the midsole and outsole. Picture here on the screen is a very close visual representation of what is releasing. And again, expect these to drop fall 2022 in men's and gray school sizing.
Now I'm not a thousand percent sure on this, but I did hear that an Air Jordan 2 Burn Rubber collab is on the way. Burn Rubber is a shop in Detroit, Michigan, and again I have like little to no detail on these. So stay tuned for more information as time progresses. Alright, so now we're going into the holiday releases. First we're starting with October. So starting off October, we have a new Air Jordan 3 colorway on the way. These are currently expected to drop on October 8th. I didn't do a mock-up for these. These are expected to be in brown, gray, and stone. Not very much info on these at the time, but again expect a new Air Jordan 3 colorway to drop on October 8th in men's sizing. Up next we have the Air Jordan 12 in black and taxi. These are currently expected to drop on October 15th for a retail price of $200. Now I've had this info for a little while now, but was just waiting for more of a description and a release date. So these are currently expected to be all black, with taxi accents on the tab and eyelets. In my opinion, Jordan Brand has definitely been putting out a lot of similar colorways to this, so I'm not really sure why they're releasing this, but again expect these to drop on October 15th for a retail price of $200 for men's. Up next is an Air Jordan 4 in white and navy. The colorway for these is white, midnight, navy, light smoke, gray, and fire red, and are currently set to drop on October 22nd. Men's sizes are expected to be $210, and you can also expect these to drop in full family sizing. Now this mock-up picture here on the screen is fairly accurate. I was basically given a basic description of the shoe, and I was told that these will be in the same color blocking as the fire red 4s, but to take most of the fire red and turn it into navy. And again, expect these to drop on October 22nd in full family sizing. As the holiday time rolls around, the releases start getting even better and better. Finally, we're getting a retro of the Air Jordan 2 Chicago. The colorway for this one is white, varsity red, and black. These are currently expected to release on October 25th in full family sizing. As of right now, I was told that these will be coming back with their true OG specs, OG box, OG wings logo hang tag, and booklet. It's about time that Air Jordan 2s get more love. And throughout the entire year of 2022, Jordan Brand is definitely pushing the Air Jordan 2s. Whether it's a collab or an SE release or a pop-up release. Either way, I'm definitely excited for this Air Jordan 2 to return. And the current date is October 25th. Even though that's a Tuesday, the date may change in the future. But as always, I'll keep you guys updated on that. October is definitely going to be one busy month if all the release dates do stay the same. So to close off the month of October, we have the Air Jordan 1 High OG Chicago Reimagined. Pictured here on the screen is the 1985 Air Jordan 1 High Chicago. The 2022 release will look slightly different. I was told to expect these with a vintage look or a vintage filter look to them. Now having that said, they probably will switch the materials up a bit. The box and packaging is also expected to have a vintage look. And also these are expected to have a crackle graphic application on them. Maybe that will be referenced to the collar. Because due to age, the Air Jordan 1s from 1985 definitely have a lot of cracking going on. So I'm assuming that Jordan Brand will be trying to replicate that exact look and put it on the new Air Jordan 1s. Also from what I was told, this Air Jordan 1 will be closer to the 85s in shape. But won't exactly be an Air Jordan 1 High 85. It'll be a mixture between the retro highs that we get now and the high 85s. From this point forward, Air Jordan 1s are expected to increase to $180. Now, as far as materials go, I did do a mock up a while ago in collaboration with Sneaker Files because initially we were told that these will be coming with the same materials seen on the Hyper Royal Jordan 1s. And of course, they will be coming with that vintage look. So expect a pre yellow look on the midsole and different details throughout the shoe. But again, anything can change. So once again, these are expected to release on October 29th, but I wouldn't be surprised if these do get pushed back in the future. Also, retail price for Jordan 1s is expected to increase to $180. Now we'll talk about November 2022 Air Jordan release dates. Next on the list is the Air Jordan 9 Fire Red. The colorway for these is white, fire red, and cool gray. Currently, these are expected to drop on November 5th for a retail price of $200. So at this moment, not much description on these. Pictured here on the screen is just a mock-up for visual purposes only. This shoe is also expected to drop in full family sizing. Stay tuned for more information on this one. Next is an Air Jordan 1 High OG in Gorge Green. 
These currently have a release date for November 12th and are expected to drop in men's and grade school sizing. So I'm not sure on what materials they're going to use for these, but I was basically told to expect them to be in the same color blocking as the Bordeaux ones and the Midnight Navy Co JP Air Jordan ones. Not a bad colorway for the Air Jordan one. I do like these a lot. So again, these are expected to drop on November 12th in men's and grade school sizing. And men's sizing are expected to retail at 180. Next up is an Air Jordan 6 in black and metallic silver. These are currently expected to release on November 19th. Also, people are nicknaming these the Air Jordan 6 Chrome. So as far as the color blocking on these, it's basically the DMP Air Jordan 6s, but instead of gold, it's silver. I think it definitely gives the Air Jordan 6 a clean look to it. They will be coming with special packaging. The colorway for these is black, metallic, silver, and black. And again, these currently have a set date for November 19th in full family sizing. Up next, we finally have word on this year's Black Friday Air Jordan release. This is the Air Jordan 11 and Midnight Navy metallic silver and white. So I believe that this one will be the women's exclusive Air Jordan 11s. I didn't really get much word on what the color blocking will be. So what is pictured here on the screen is just a mock-up for visual purposes. But I can imagine that this one will come with a Midnight Navy upper with metallic silver detailing and a white midsole to finish it off. So implying that this is the women's exclusive Air Jordan 11, expect them to drop in women's preschool and toddler sizing. Also retail price will be $225, look for these to drop on Black Friday which is November 25th, 2022. To close off November we have an Air Jordan 7 in white, black, cardinal red and chutney. Now as you see the colorway is very very similar to the cardinal Air Jordan 7s. So prior to this video, I didn't get any word or confirmation that the Cardinal 7s are releasing again. But it is the 30th anniversary of the Air Jordan 7s. It's either we get the OG colorway or we get the same colorway with a twist. Again, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on this one. These are currently set to release around Black Friday. The current date is November 26th. So I believe that is the day after Black Friday. So again, stay tuned for more info on these and they will be dropping in full family sizing. Men's will retail at 200. Okay, to close off the year, let's get into December 2022 Air Jordan release dates. Up next is another release I don't really have much info on right now. This is the Air Jordan 2 Low, white, red, and gray. Now the colors do seem kind of similar to the Chicago Air Jordan 2 Lows, but since I didn't get any prior word on these, I wouldn't bite my tongue. This shoe is currently expected to release on December 3rd, so stay tuned for more info on these. Up next is another shoe I don't really have much of a description on at the moment. There is a new Air Jordan 12 colorway on the way. These are expected to be in white, black, and green. And I believe that these will be a women's exclusive or a grade school exclusive shoe. The current date these have is December 3rd as well. So definitely stay tuned for more updates on this colorway in the near future. Up next is a very, very anticipated Air Jordan release. This is the Air Jordan 11 Cherry. The colorway for these is white, varsity, red, and black, and these currently have a release date for December 10th, and they will be dropping in full family sizing. Now keep in mind that men's sizes will retail at 225, grade school sizes will retail at 185, preschool sizes will retail at 100, and toddler sizes will retail at $80. The picture here on the screen is a very close mock-up of what is releasing. I think it's definitely a nice colorway for the Air Jordan 11. To be honest, I'm not really that big of a fan for the blue outsole on this colorway. Just like how the Cherry Air Jordan 11s came back in 2016, I would have kind of liked more of a clear sole with these. But then again, I would see a lot of comments saying that, you know, the shoe would yellow quicker, which is pretty much understandable. Again, this is definitely one of the most anticipated releases of 2022, and expect these to drop on December 10th in full family sizing. Even more Air Jordan 7s on the way, this is the Air Jordan 7. The colorway for these is black, cherry wood, red, neutral, olive, and chutney. These currently have a release date for December 17th. Picture here on the screen is just a mock-up. I'm not expecting this mock-up to be in any way, shape, or form accurate. But this is just here for visual purposes only. Only because I don't have much description on these at this time. But I did hear that these will be similar to the Air Jordan 7 Bordeaux color blocking. So yeah, anyway, expect these to drop on December 17th in men's and grade school sizing. Men's will retail at $210.
Next up is a women's exclusive Air Jordan 1 High OG. Now these are expected to be in gray, black, and white. I currently don't have much of a description on these either and didn't do a mock-up, but typically Jordan brand ends the year off with a women's exclusive Air Jordan 1. We can possibly expect some sort of crazy design on the upper or some sort of materials that will make this colorway stand out. Again, there's not much description on these at the time. These are currently set to drop on December 22nd in women's sizing, retailing at 180. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have the Air Jordan 13 UNC. The colorway for these is black, university blue, and black. And currently, these are expected to close out the year on December 29th for retail price of $200. And these are also expected to release in full family sizing. A lot of people are comparing these to the CP3 Air Jordan 13s that dropped a while back. I definitely do see the similarities. The main differences is the shade of blue, and these don't have any yellow on the outsoles. For these, I was told to expect the exact same color blocking as the Bread 13s, but instead of red, it's university blue. And again, these are expected to release on December 29th for a retail price of $200. All right, now that's all for today. Did you guys enjoy the video? I know it was more of a lengthy video than usual. I would really appreciate if you guys give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you guys for making it to the end of the video. Please comment below your favorite releases from this video. I know there's definitely a lot. Just to name a few of my favorites is the Air Jordan 3 Fire Red, the Cherry Air Jordan 11, the Reimagined Chicago 1, the Chicago 2s, and the list just goes on and on. Please notice that the release dates provided in this video are the current dates when this video was created. These release dates are subject to change at any given time. For more info and updates, tune into my social medias at ZSneakerHeadZ. I am mainly known on Instagram, but I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button below. Hit that little bell next to it to turn post notifications on so you never miss an upload. My name is ZSneakerHeadZ. I specialize in posting first looks and release dates. I am a number one source and I'm just known for being accurate and on point. All my social medias are linked in the description below. Also be sure to drop a comment of what you guys would like to see in my next video. I'm always open to suggestions and recommendations. Again, I really appreciate you guys for making it to the end of the video, and I will see you guys next time.